What is going on, everybody? I am back. So, college basketball is coming up. That is my favorite sport. I know I don't talk about it enough on the channel. Now, this season, I'm going to change it up, and I'm really going to make more college basketball videos in this type of style that you are watching right now. One team that I wanted to really start out with was Rutgers, because Rutgers was ranked for the first time since 1979. That would be 41 years this past season, and Rutgers basketball really Really turned themselves around under head coach Steve Peichel, who is entering his fifth season. He is signed until 2026, and I just kind of wanted to highlight what made Rutgers good last year and what is going to make them good this year. They're in a competitive Big Ten. I mean, they're so strong there. We've got Illinois, Wisconsin, Iowa, and then even teams like Michigan State, Ohio State. You know, they're always competitive. So we will see what will happen, but I think Rutgers has really turned the page and Steve Peichel's building something there. Now, before I begin, I would greatly appreciate if you took the time to hit that subscribe button for me and hit the notification bell if you could. Really leave a like, helps with the algorithm, and I would really appreciate it. So thank you. Now let's talk about Rutgers, where they pound nails. That's what Steve Peichel does. They play defense and they rebound. That's the Rutgers way. They haven't made March Madness since 1991 and hadn't won 20 games since 2004. And they really accomplished both things last year. Even though the tournament got canceled, they were going to make it. But Steve Peichel has done an incredible job since he got there from Stony Brook, where he did pretty good, got them to the tournament, I think, in 2016. And yeah, I mean, Steve Peichel doesn't get enough credit, and it's fun seeing East Coast teams do really well. Those are my favorite types of teams when it comes to college basketball. And even though Rutgers isn't in, like, the Big East, they're in the Big Ten, and they're definitely a very unique team for the Big Ten. It's just awesome seeing them do so well. Now, who is Rutgers led by? Well, they are led by two great players. Geo Baker and Ron Harper Jr. Those guys did a lot for Rutgers last year. They're going to have to do a lot for them this year, but the good thing is, is they're coming back and I expect them to be two of the best players in the Big Ten. Now, they were last year not a great team from the line or from three, but they were a top 10 defensive team last year. And good Lord, they had one of the best home court advantages in the nation, only losing once at home. They went 18 and one. Now, it will be interesting this year because they're probably not gonna have any fans. Their football team is not having any fans fans so it's probably gonna be the same for basketball but how do they do without fans i still think that defense travels so that's good news for them and if people don't remember this they were actually pretty competitive in all of their losses that they had all of their big 10 losses were in single digits that right there is impressive in its own right and even though they lost a good amount of games and you know they were a home team they didn't travel very well I think that that was kind of overblown. They definitely weren't as bad as people made it seem. So that's good news heading into this year. Now, Steve Peichel also got Cliff Omori, I think that's his name, a top 50 recruit that they got. And that is huge news. I mean, Rutgers got a top 50 recruit. Not in a million years would you expect to hear that, but it looks like things have really changed there. They returned most of their team from last year, and they really don't have the huge expectations to live up to because of the, you know, there's other Big Ten teams that really deserve it, like in Illinois, at Wisconsin, and Iowa. So Rutgers can really kind of sneak their way this year again, and they can still be the hunter instead of being the hunted. Now, they don't have the NBA talent of other schools, but they can play their brand of basketball, which is hardcore defense, protecting the rim, protecting the paint, getting rebounds, and stopping you on the defensive end. And it's really crazy. They bring back 80.4% of their scoring and they're a pretty balanced team. So Rutgers should be competitive, like I said. Now let's talk about Steve Peichel. This guy has done so much for Rutgers basketball. Before their move to the Big 10, you know, things were rough. They switched athletic directors. They were the punching bag of the conference. The five coaches before him, Kevin Banyan, Gary Waters, Fred Hill, Mike Rice, and Eddie Jordan did not do well in a 19 year span. That produced a 255, 331 record. I mean, we all know they hadn't made the NCAA tournament forever. They've not been good. But Steve Peichel does not take shortcuts. He has grinded his way to get here. He does things the right way. Yes, he's a college basketball coach that does things the right way. And bringing back East Coast basketball in a conference that can only benefit from more great teams is super exciting. And last year, Rutgers was picked 12th in the conference. And Steve Peichel quoted this. I mean, he put it everywhere for his team to see. You know, nobody believed in Rutgers. I didn't believe in Rutgers. Why would anybody believe in Rutgers? But the way they played last year, especially on the defensive end, their defense was what was really good. And even Steve Peichel kind of said that he didn't even love their defense last year. Now they did rank six nationally in defensive efficiency. 
13th nationally in effective field goal percentage allowed and 13th nationally in block percentage. And Steve Peichel really doesn't care about the analytics, but you know, the numbers don't lie there. And they were pretty darn good on the defensive side of the ball. And honestly, they might have gotten even better this season. So really watch out for the Scarlet Knights. They also opened a new practice facility that will really help with recruiting. Obviously, they got a top 50 recruit recently, so that's already started to help. And when you have facilities like that, it really does make a huge difference. Fans might not understand that, but you have to have NBA level or high major college basketball level facilities to be one of the best teams in the nation. So let me know down in the comment section what you think of Rutgers basketball. How will they finish in the Big Ten? A lot of great teams, like I've said, but I think Rutgers can definitely sneak their way to possibly a conference title. I know it's crazy to think about Rutgers winning the Big Ten in basketball. No way would I've ever said something like that before Steve Peichel was hired. But here we are, and really 2021 looks like that could be a real possibility. So thank you for watching everyone, and please if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps out. My social medias are down below so you can interact with me there. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.